James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Ladies and gentlemen, today is March 22nd, 2022, 3 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've had several sea flares, most of them very minor. It looks like at least four sea flares. One fairly strong sea flare here. We have to go back to March 15th where we got hit with the M flare, which is going to be seven plus days ago to find anything larger than that. So that's the largest flare we've been hit with all week long. And we've had some additional very small sea flares in between. All right, heading over to the NOAA KP index breakdown, March 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 2022. They're expecting really nothing to happen. They've worked in a couple of KP4s uh, tomorrow and on the 24th, but otherwise, ones and twos and threes, folks. Smooth sailing for the next several days, according to the NOAA KP forecast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, heading over to Lasco C3. Uh, no missing data, per se. No large chunks of missing data. The C flare is hardly visible. It happened about 1300 UTC time, which would mean it would be probably this up in the top left corner here. As you can see, watch your timestamp down here, and you can see that it's brightened up right around 1300. So that's about all I can see. We'll have to see what sunspot group that may be from. Heading over to Go Solar Ultraviolet Imager, 195 angstroms, Go 16. This has been our very best picture of the sun for some time since they've messed around with the SOHO satellite. Uh, we'll assume we have a coronal hole on the North Pole. We'll actually be able to see the coronal hole that's just past us, which I believe is causing the solar winds to uptick today. We have another coronal hole central disk that will be Earth-facing tomorrow and should be geo-effective uh, in about 48 hours, maybe a bit longer. We have another large coral hole on the South Pole and several sunspots, uh, as many coming around the limb as that are Earth-facing currently, it appears. All right, heading to ACE real-time space weather, we see that we were up above that 10 centimeter cubed space weather event status uh, we've since then jumped below it but we do have some prints that are much higher and we will look at those on discover we also have a kick in solar winds from about 340 kilometers per second to around 400 kilometers per second so a kick of 60 kilometers per second and you can see just recently it's gone straight up along with the temperatures going into a dangerous level uh, as they did when it increased last time. We're seeing space weather event there. Uh, we're seeing a space weather event here. I don't know what that could be. No plasma is visible. No solar winds are visible. And I'm guessing that we're heading for another space weather event currently. So after a year of trying, the WSA Inland Prediction Center, Space Weather Prediction Center, finally got one right on the 19th. I guess they just retired because this hasn't been updated in weeks. Uh, they see nothing happening. Zero plasma and, uh, well, solar winds were supposed to have jumped up, but I did not see that occur. Now, this was not on the European model. This was just on the U.S. model. Go figure. Uh, they think that right now on the 22nd, we should be at around 500 kilometers per second. And we're nowhere near that. And they have not updated the data in probably a week's time. I guess they're patting themselves on the back for finally getting one right on the 19th. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm seeing on my GOES is not what I'm seeing on my X-ray background absorption. I'm seeing a lot of B-flares. A lot of absorption. That's got to be at least a sea flare there. Uh, that would be over the Atlantic, parts of Africa, and Brazil. And this continues as the Earth turns, right? 
there's a maybe a B flare hitting South America and you have a little bit stronger flare there and it just continues to pound living earth with these x-rays it's going to be that C flare and I guess that's going to be all day every day x-ray now I want to get through this quickly but things are not adding up whatsoever again we were above 10 here 15 even uh, at the beginning of the day uh, we stayed above that level we did break down plasma wise then all of a sudden we had some readings of 21 and some readings of 35 and some readings of 32 and additional readings of 33.86 and readings as high as 29.67 and when we got those readings we we're being indicated that we're in a space weather event up here what's weird is we we have the solar winds jumping at the same time and the temperature jump at the same time usually you'll see that plasma push or beat down that solar wind but not in this instance we're having a combo if you will probably what helped cause the two large earthquakes that we saw today uh, i am not going to be able to call uh, what has done this there is substantial plasma hitting but nothing that should have caused this space weather event here and the temperatures and speeds are back to normal so i do not know well we are taking a little bounce in solar wind speed right now but nothing spectacular and we have been above that space weather threshold with the plasma just about all day long except for some times of instability here where we went as low as 1.75 0.83 very strange day indeed All right we're going to jump over to university in maryland soho we're going to take a look and a little jump in solar winds here uh, we do see that bounce here in solar winds uh, so this is from that crawl hole that was earth facing just a day or two ago now where is this plasma coming from your guess is going to have to be as good as mine soho is showing plasma 17 centimeters cubed at least and that's within the last couple of hours also has very high temperatures coming in very high temperatures i have no idea what is causing that all right ladies and gentlemen my guess is that this unnamed sunspot's going to be responsible for that sea flare we just saw uh i'm just betting on it they have only two earth facing sunspots named where there should be probably several more we have 2972 that they've grouped together and 2973 and this is obviously uh, something that should be named and probably responsible for that sea flare that just popped off all right we'll jump over to sdo's dashboard so we can watch our star for the last three days here lots of popping going on folks you can see some substantial pops uh, and we also notice uh, the up and coming coral hole but more importantly all these sunspots i mean it's filled with them from the north to the south so those are all going to be earth facing very shortly did y'all see that pop off watch this good to go boom right there Man, I can't believe that that are there. There's another one. They're everywhere. Can't believe that none of these were uh, rated any higher than a C flare or really less than a C flare. Crazy, especially with the X rays that we're being constantly pounded with. We have a B flare baseline currently heading over to SDO HMI magnetogram. This is what's not named. It's that much earth basin and not named yet. We can see additional sunspots already on this. This was taken at 1800 UTC time today. So this probably has been named and not updated yet. Probably most definitely responsible for the flare that we just saw and caught on our goes. Next to our ruined image of Soho at 284 angstroms, looks like a huge coral hole is earth facing. Uh, I believe it's probably smaller slits than what we're seeing here. We can see the coral hole on the South Pole. Can't see one on the North Pole. We'll assume one is there. 
we are seeing those dark filaments all on the corners as we do and we see at least three or four maybe five sunspots coming around the limb period which they don't want you to see all right jumping over to the esa folks uh, they have not updated their stuff again we are i guess right about here i guess this is us being hit we haven't seen anything like 50 or 60 centimeters cubed in plasma and we'll have to wait to see if that brick wall that we just ran into on discover is this brick wall and that this does run itself up to about 450 kilometers per second which i would say that it should now as always i want to give nasa the final word they've had the, the huge cme that just shot off nailing mercury just absolutely nailing mercury nailing parts of mars never earth directed whatsoever very quick moving very strong off the charts uh, we're getting hit by plasma too as you can see right over here constantly it looks like especially today uh, i did explain that the planets and all of our solar equipment i.e satellites are listed up here and the black and uh, white strings are our geomagnetic connection with those planets and satellites to our sun that's pulling all that through the galaxy at 440,000 miles an hour plus. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share, please subscribe, and always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.